Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Dungreed. I actually already went through a floor and realized that I wasn't recording. But this is the loadout that I have so far. Spear, slingshot, few pieces of armor. I got this, an assassin's dagger. It's actually pretty neat. It's got a quick attack speed that I'm going to try on the boss. And I have the spear and a slingshot as well, which the slingshot is like a charged range weapon. It actually does quite a bit of damage when it's fully charged, or you can throw like some little limp biscuits here. Anyway, thanks for the support on the first episode, guys. I'm glad y'all liked it. I already explored the second floor in total here, and um, we're going to go ahead and fight the boss now. Really, really, really sorry that... I didn't have the ability to uh, show you all the progress up until this point. Uh, really unfortunate that sometimes when I first restart my computer, uh, it's like my recording software doesn't register, which kind of sucks. So we're going to try this, um, this, this dagger out on this thing. I hope I can reach it from this level. If not, I might have to change my plan. I can. I can hit it a lot when I'm like on it. But I don't know if that's the thing. I guess it's still better than the, um, the slingshot. Ouch. I think I'm gonna get him. If I don't stop getting hit, got him. <laughs> wow, though, I took a lot of hits there. If that dagger was just a little bit further, where I wouldn't have had to jump at all to attack him, it would have been amazing. All right, look at the gold that we got here. And we got a big chest. Uh, oh, Skeleton King Sword. You trapped me because you thought I was eye candy? I curse you for eternity. What? Uh, okay, that's that'll appear in the dungeon from here on out. That's nice. Uh, we can heal our total here. That's good. Yeah, I thought about just restarting a run, but then I would have lost all the experience that I gained and stuff like that. And I think that it's better to uh, to just have gone through with it. So, anyway, I'm sorry you guys missed the little first bit of progress. But, hey, now we're on a new level. And the music's epic. I mean, epic on this part. Um, opening settings? Yes. Heck, yeah. Let's do it. It's raining outside. I hope y'all don't hear too much rain outdoors. Okay, we can eat stat food here. I don't know how hard this thing is going to be. Let's see. We can get more max health here. 34 here. Wow. Um, we got a, so much money. We should use it. Uh, 15 max health for 40 satiety. We still don't have enough satiety. Um, so I ate quite a bit of healing stuff and I got a max health increase on the last floor. So unfortunately, I think maybe I should wait to be able to use that. And I think we're going to go to, this is a uh, Schmidt's Birch Baton is all right. It's kind of like a defensive weapon. The range on it is not that impressive. So I think I'm going to switch to the spear here and maybe just sell that Birch Baton or something. I don't know. All right. 15 gold so we normally get 10 gold per drop but we have we I, I bought like scrambled eggs or fried eggs or something which increases my gold drop yeah I still can't place anything on the altars slingshot action nice Slingshot comes in in the clutch, man. It's not the best ranged weapon in the world, but it's actually a little bit more responsive than the matchlock. Oh, these guys suck. Um, there's like a, an ice mage here. And they suck. Oh, I keep forgetting I have this charge maneuver. Yeah, forget about the charge, man. Ooh, Halbred. I had got this on my stream. 30% dash damage. So you get more dash damage on the spear. 13 to 20 or 14 to 20. 
attacks per second one point uh, so this is slower and only 30% dash damage I think the spear is a better weapon than the halberd or hold on 14 to 20 13 to 20 well let's test it let's test it uh wait we don't want to do that we want to keep the slingshot in one so well well let's test the spear first uh, we can't do it here well we might that might be all irrelevant now blunderbuss uh salamander's eye that's a wand mm, 20 to 22 long staff uh that's kind of like the um the the schmidt's birch baton that we have blunderbuss gun fired spray bullets through its enlarged barrel uh, this looks pretty impressive. Hand crossbow, I know, is pretty impressive as well. Attacks per second, 7.69. 24 to 27. That's such a big damage increase, though. I think we do... I think we do blunderbuss here. I think we do the blunderbuss. I think it's worth it. Okay, let's sell... Uh, we're gonna sell this assassin stagger too. I don't know about the halberd and the spear. 60% dash damage. So it's a plus. So yeah, I, I imagine that that the spear is better all around. I didn't see the plus at first. We don't need the defensive item. We can't sell the short sword. Salamander's eye. I don't know what this does, but we did buy the most expensive item in the shop, so I think I'm okay with that. Um... The blunderbuss, huh? Oh, look at this thing. It's got three shots before it reloads, too. Some reload food would really benefit us here. Can you switch while you're reloading and have it reload in the background? No, not really. And you can press R to manually reload. Alright. I dig it. Ha-ha! <laughs> you suck. Alright, let's reload. <laughs> this allows us to... to proceed kind of tactically, right? Bruh, if you hit him with a full shotgun blast, it hurts him so bad. It hurts him so bad. Alright, I could have went up here as well. Let's just go left. I forgot to reload. Man, I gotta be careful with that. Not ready for the next floor yet. Nice. I tried just tried to reload my spear. It happens, ladies and gentlemen, it happens. <laughs> I really love this game. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I really do. It is it's awesome. It reminds me so much of Rogue Legacy, and that was like one of my favorite games of all time, man. All right, we could go up here. The the really the really kick-ass music helps a lot too. What is that? Oh, dang! Ouch! Oh, you gonna pay for that crap? Our defense is pretty high. Okay, let's let's reload. That way we can get a full Ooh. He hits pretty hard. Getting a lot of gold here. Hopefully we keep a good uh, portion of that when we go to the next place. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness. Ah, that worked out pretty well. Blunderbuss really comes in in the clutch, man. But, like, when... It's, it's important not to panic. As soon as you fire off your shots, if you're getting outnumbered, you should really do something about it. <laughs> Pull that spear out. Pull your melee weapon out and do your, do your work with it, you know? Longstaff. Uh, we already know what that's all about. 
Yeah, 6 to 11. It's actually not even as good as the other staff that we had got. Okay, I think we can probably look for... We could probably go to the food shop again. Let's go to the food shop again. See if our satiety level is a little bit lower. What do you have, girl? Let's see. We are at 40. Oh, yeah. I think we're going for power again, ladies and gentlemen. Defense would also be nice. Tomato soup is 40. Defense is 40 as well. We don't have enough for all of it. I think we go for power. Yep. Okay. And uh, reload speed would be... Awesome. Also, more gold. We I don't think we need more gold at this point. Electric attacks, poison resist, crit. There was some reload speed. There was a reload speed uh, food on one of these things. Reload speed. Oh, my God. It takes 40 as well. Son of a gun. We need more satiety, guys. We need more. All right. Well, we can go to... Oh, it's just one over. Oh, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> it was this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is... Neat, I guess. <laughs> Let me make sure I reload. Very limited. Very limited range on the blunderbuss. Makes sense. It's a shotgun, man. That thing has some hit points, man. Serious hit points. Alright. Uh, more monsters. Oh, a minotaur this time. No problem. I just go up top here. Just go up top, and it's all good. What else was there? Let's go ahead and reload. It's just a little puppy. Just a little puppy. Oh, you sneaky bastard. Oh, I missed. Dude. Enough with the, um... Enough with the surprise enemies. Oh, we got a ring. Ring of speed. Okay. So it auto-equips everything as you get it. Move speed. <clears throat> That's decent, I suppose. Uh, this looks bad. Oh, I hadn't... Uh-oh, I hadn't reloaded. Uh, don't panic, Z. Don't panic. Took some damage right there. More enemies in there. No problem. Ooh, we got a nice chest from it, though. Anything, Anytime you see cages, it's bad. All right, I've had the katana before. It is not that good. Just in case it wasn't on this run, because I got kind of mixed up, I'll show you what it looks like. That's how it do goes. The damage on it is not that impressive, and it actually takes away from the dash damage. Um, 15 to 19, where this one does 13 to 20. Max damage is still better, you know, so it's it's not that good. Uh, I suppose for some people it might work well, but for me it doesn't. All right. We're, let's reload. Down we go. Oh. Hey! Hacking. I've never seen you around. Looks like you're experienced with a sword. You don't look like a knight. Are you an adventurer? I'm right. Can you let me out? Adventurers don't get lost, right? Uh, this one does. <laughs> this one does, Hacking. I don't think you know who I am, man. I am famous for getting lost. Alright, I believe we can just reach this guy from here. Yeah. Gotta be careful, man. Gotta be 
real careful right here. All right. <laughs> Perfect. We're taking it slow, y'all, but... There we go. They're not so bad. They won't charge you until provoked, which actually helps a lot. Helps to predict their movements a lot. You know? Uh, let's see. We could go down here again. That charge. Really lovely ability, man. It gives you damage when... You least expect it, which is amazing. Speaking of damage when you least expect it. Reload, man. Ouch. I missed him. Sucker. 70. Well, that could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. Nice. I need some healing stuff, y'all. Another slingshot? Oh, boy. This looks fun. Oh! I went down. God dang it! I didn't have to take damage there at all. Spikes! Oh, spikes everywhere. Actually, everywhere. Dude, this room sucks. Ouch. Dude, I'm not even going for the gold. That sucks so bad, man. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> that room was trash. Absolute garbage. Oh, I, I don't know why I didn't have my curse in the right place there. Maybe these barrels will offer a little bit of salvation here. I don't think there's any enemies in here. It doesn't look like it from the, um, from the map. Unless they surprise me, of course. Okay. There's another altar. We already know that. Okay. Can we... We haven't opened the food shop yet. We gotta find it. Because that's what we need in our life right now. Oh, that helps a ton. Gold and a silver earring. Silver Earring gives us evasion and defense. Eight defense, five defense, three defense. I think, I don't know if move speed is important as like defense right now. I like both of them. Ah, girl, you're exactly what we need. Give me some of that homemade soup, mama. Or hot chicken stew? That sounds delicious. Reload speed would be amazing still, but I don't think we're going to have enough. We really need a heal here. Um, we can, we don't need a heal all the way. I'll tell you what. Let's do... What happens with the, uh, the reload speed? The attack speed? No. Reload speed is 40, huh? I think that's what we had said last time. Reload speed, yes. 40 satiety. That's going to put us at 84. We would need 16 or less from heals. 15? Yeah, let's do it. Strawberry pie. And what was it again? <laughs> Already forgot, y'all. Evasion, max health, defense, power, no. Move speed, reload speed, that's it. I think that's great for us. I think that's great. 
I mean, it's it's not very noticeable, but hey, it might stack. 10% would probably be noticeable. Can we buy anything epic? A matchlock gun, another blunderbuss. The blunderbuss that we have is 24 to 27. Yeah, it's the same same thing. Okay. Man. Five max health plus three power. I don't think the silver ring is worth it. Okay, that's all of the stuff on this floor. I think this might be boss, y'all. If it follows the same pattern as the last one. It looks like it might, too. It looks like it might. I have no idea what we're about to face here. Oh. Nif Niflheim. Oh. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, you gotta kill all of his shields first. Ouch. Oh, you can't hit him when he's stunned. Okay, so this boss is a little bit different than what I would have expected. We only have 11 hit points left. First time fighting him though. Can I just say that the music is incredible right now? I think wrong choice of weapon for this fight. Oh, Mr. You can charge while reloading, it helps a ton. Ooh, I should have saw the red line, it warns you. So the fight is very, very doable, but I don't know if Blunderbuss was the choice right there. Again, I'm really sorry I didn't show you guys the majority of the first floor. I'll be very careful next time, I'll try not to let it happen again. Uh, we rescued another guy though, pretty good. We're gonna keep 2,600 gold. I guess that goes up based on what level you are, maybe? I don't know. Okay, it's you, yeah, build. What can we build because, oh, a blacksmith, yes. Blacksmith creates a useful item every time. We're gonna do it. We still didn't build the shop, <laughs> but hey, this is pretty cool. Wow, that is astonishing. Let me show you my skills, wait a minute. Okay. Oh, look at all of these upgrades. Uh, Dwarven Armor, Hawk Earring for Critical, a Zweihander or a Zweihander, Butterfly Knife, <laughs> oh, a Dimension Sword. Apparently jumping through time and space is difficult, so it's only used as a sword. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah, Mira, uh, Miramasa or Mermasa. I don't know how you say it. Mur Muramasa? Uh, I always thought it was Mirasame, but... A uh, beautiful sword from the east that have been destroyed. The fate of many. Plus 15 crit. That's pretty cool. Cowhide armor. Move speed and defense. Iron armor. A lot of defense. Okay. And steel boots. Ignores spike type damage. Love it. Love. Love it. Love it. Love it. So let's see what the blacksmith can do. I can actually navigate by pressing escape here. This isn't excellent, but it will help you. Yo, you start off the run with an item, he just generates it? Oh, that's awesome! So you don't have to start with a trashy, uh... So you don't have to start with just a trashy short sword. It can give you a variety of things here. We did have a little bit of money left. I don't think it's gonna be enough for anything, though. But we got levels, we got five points. Um... So, I don't know. Gold, we seem to have an abundance of gold after we beat the boss. So I think, let's see, this gives more 
satiety, and this gives more accessory slots? That seems pretty cool all around, but I don't think it's as, as valuable as I originally thought. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reset here. Um, magic shield. Invincible for four seconds, receiving deadly damage, only triggers once in the dungeon. Combats to HP regenerates when hit points are below 30. What? Patience seems incredible. Become invincible when dashing? That is nice. And dash charge is plus one. Attack speed increased by 10% when hit points are above 80. Wow, swiftness is pretty cool. I like them all, man. I like them all, but I think swiftness. So this will give us a double jump first. Dash recharge speed increased. Attack speed increases when 10%. Hit points is above 80%. So, not only is this incredible, but we have the spear to start off next round. I think it's going to be great. And, um, we can just receive some power, I guess. Three power. All right. Very good. <laughs> nice, man. I like it. I like it. Look at that. And we get three dashes now. Very cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this run. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ogden signing off, and we'll see you next time.